Do you ever feel like your life is a fight you're losing? I've been there. Every morning you wake up begins a new round in this endless boxing match and sometimes it feels like everyone is betting against you. The worse it gets, the more you feel like betting against yourself. But no matter what battle you're facing, remember this simple truth. Jesus can sympathize. He can relate to the pain. One of the reasons we feel like we're losing is because we have this misconception about the ring we're fighting in. And we misunderstand our opponent. We're fighting what we can see in front of us when the real problem is invisible. We're not in a normal fight. And we can't expect to win by fighting the way you would fight normally. We're on a spiritual battleground. To win in that arena, we must learn to fight like Jesus. And Jesus fought differently. In John 18, 36, Jesus says, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants would be fighting so that I would not be handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not of this realm. Jesus is saying we won't win this fight with natural might. To win a spiritual battle, we've got to fight with spiritual weapons. Paul says the same thing in Ephesians 6.12, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Then what are we fighting, Paul? The spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. The Apostle Peter didn't get it at first. He fought the way we fight, with whatever was in his hand. When the soldiers arrest Jesus in the garden, Peter takes out his sword and he starts swinging. But Jesus immediately says, put your sword away. Then he asks Peter in John 18, 11, the cup which the Father has given me, shall I not drink it? He's saying, shouldn't I do what God has told me to do? Jesus is revealing his secret here. Jesus knew who his opponent was, but he also knew who his coach was. God the Father was the trainer in Jesus' corner, and he had been telling him exactly what to do the whole time. That's why Jesus said, the words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own initiative, but the Father abiding in me does his works. Because he was listening to the voice of his coach, Jesus was casting out demons, he was healing the sick, restoring life to dead people, and then suddenly when it seemed like Jesus was winning, God told him to start taking the hits. The Father said, stand still and let yourself get hit. This doesn't make sense to us, but that's because Jesus was fighting a spiritual battle. He was fighting the battle for your and my eternity. Jesus says in John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. Jesus began to lose a physical, psychological, emotional, and mental battle all the while believing that he would win the spiritual war. The more he listened to the voice of his coach that day, the worse it got. He allowed himself to be stripped down, mocked, spat on, beaten, and tortured for our sakes. Then in the greatest act of love in human history, he allowed them to hang him up on a cross. Yet, Jesus kept fighting differently. When we're losing, what do we usually do? We exert more effort, right? We pump ourselves up, we hit harder, but God is saying the key to winning the spiritual battle is to surrender deeper. It's not to fight better, it's to yield to the Spirit more. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 9, 26, so I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air. What he's saying is I'm not throwing punches at random. Every move I make has been strategically handed over to me by my coach. It's not that we're not trying. Some of us are giving it all we've got, but the problem is that we're hoping to win a spiritual battle with carnal boxing gloves. To act out what our coach is saying, we first gotta learn how to hear his voice. We've gotta learn how to move in tune with the Holy Spirit. So that when he says, step right, we step right. When he says, dodge to the left, we dodge to the left. And when he says, take this hit and share in the sufferings of Christ, we take the hit knowing that God can use our temporary discomfort for his eternal purposes. Jesus knew what it was like to take the hit. They mocked him while he was on the cross saying, if you're really the son of God, come down. They were basically saying, defend yourself. But he didn't respond. He remembered the voice of his father saying, when you take these hits, you take the victory. Even a condemned 
thief hanging next to Jesus began to ridicule him. Don't you think Jesus deserved to be able to defend himself? Yet he stayed silent. Why? Why, Jesus? You don't deserve this kind of treatment. Why won't you defend yourself? Jesus let even the jeers of a convicted criminal fall undefended on his soul because even in that moment, he was thinking of someone else. The thief on the other side of Jesus was watching the loving way he reacted to the hatred and to the very people who were crucifying him. Jesus, even when he was taking his final breaths, was fighting for that undeserving man's life. And the bell that rang out at the end of the match was nothing more than a simple phrase uttered between the gasps of a dying man. It sounded like this, it is finished. And he was right. See, three days later, the champion of our souls burst out of the grave and he announced that the fight had been won. He didn't win it through might. He didn't win it with strength. He won it through submission to his coach. In Zechariah 4, 6, God says that victory comes not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. You might be thinking, I can't fight the way Jesus did. He was perfect. But the good news is when Jesus left, he sent you and me a trainer to stand in our corner too. Jesus said, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. The Holy Spirit is his gift to us. He's the coach in our ring. When you tend to respond with anger, he can give you patience. When you want to retaliate, he can show you that God is your defender. God is your vindicator. He can remind you that vengeance belongs to the Lord. He can speak to you Jesus' words in Luke 6, 29. If anyone hits you on the cheek, offer the other also. And if anyone takes away your coat, don't hold back your shirt either. Stop fighting for temporary victories when Jesus has already won the eternal victory on the cross. The more we learn to yield to God's spirit and allow his word to sink into our hearts, the more we'll walk in that victory every single day. Jesus fought differently. You can too. Hey y'all, this is Troy Black. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button and click that little bell icon so you can keep getting notifications of future videos. And also, if you don't follow me on Facebook yet, go find my Facebook page um, and follow me there because I share content there that I don't always share here on YouTube. And then finally, get excited because I'm currently working on a book that's all about overcoming worry. And I've been working on this book nonstop, it seems like, for a year now almost. Um, and I'm really excited. It's going to come out uh, pretty early in 2020. So. Get excited about that, and I hope you go check it out when it does come out. Love y'all, and see you next time.